California is home to a lot of things, including the mesmeric Sunset Strip, Hollywood, and a plethora of handsome beauties that ensnare tourists year after year. Yet this cradle of tourism is also home to some really disturbing events which the locals are forced to deal with in their everyday lives. From wild animals in residential areas to imported burglars and some of the longest car chases you'll ever see, you're in for a ride with this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this one. I share new videos every week, so be sure to click that notification button. A new pastime in the neighborhood, burglary tourism. Burglary tourism is a thing, and in this video the reporter reports about an increase in residential burglary linked to a South American theft ring. These are professional criminals who work with heavy duty tools. Watch the hooded guys cart away their spoils, both hands filled with some of the things that they've stolen from this home. According to authorities, these thieves first survey the home that they're hoping to steal from and return when no one is home. Most of the time, the reason why they're going in through there is because people don't install an alarm system on their second One of the arrested individuals is a Colombian, confirming links to the South American ring. Watch the man in the video demonstrate the way some of these criminals break into a safe. He also confirms a lot of their customers have fallen victim to the crime. If a safe hasn't been tested at Underwriters Laboratory and passed the very basic test, don't even consider it. Fast and Fiery The first frame shows this car take a turn at a very high speed. He cuts too loose to the curb and bounces off like a ping pong ball. The crash comes after this, as the car barrels into a home and, worse still, bursts a residential gas main which led to the fire. Watch the fire, which was just a flame, blossom into an inferno, confirming that the gas main is feeding it. The agonizing sound of crying kids and the voices of people trying to help all rend the heart. Good news is the occupants of the vehicle are all safe, but we can't see the same for the car or the house. We're holding the fire in check. Uh, having the gas burn is the safest for everyone. Why aren't they trying to put out the fire, you ask? Since the broken gas main feeding it hasn't been turned off, it would be unsafe to try and put out the fire. A fire outbreak and more. The smoke and fire you see on the screen, as thick and scary as it may look, doesn't tell the whole story. The firefighters were working to contain a much smaller fire while they sought the source of it. There was an explosion which was so powerful it shook the neighborhood. Listening to the firefighter on the phone calling for help, you get a much more chilling idea of what went on in the moment of the explosion. The explosion is being linked to a butane honey oil maker housed in the building. Firefighters were injured while the fire you see continues to eat the house and rise above the building. Murder suspect boxed in at a motel. The police cars you see lining and blocking that turn at Lincoln Boulevard is only a tip of the iceberg. Watch clearly to see more LAPD cars surrounding the Lincoln Inn Motel where a murderer is said to be hiding. Can you see all the police cars as a wider view of the screen is shown? Look closely on all sides. The cops have completely boxed the motel in and the murderer, whoever he is, has no way to escape. According to the narrator, the police got word that a murderer was hiding at the hotel and what's more, SWAT is on their way to the venue as well. Car burglars casually breaking into cars. The three thieves you see on the screen were captured on Wood Street, Oakland. They look organized. One pops the window. Can you identify him? Black hoodie, blue pants. He burst the window while the others rustled through the cars, picking up whatever they can. They did this to about 20 cars in this neighborhood alone. On the ground, you see the shattered glass on the floor, remnants of their late night soiree. It's very frustrated uh, in, the, in this area right now. They didn't limit their unholy activity to the Wood Street area. They also extended their dark arts to two blocks of neighboring Marina District, where 17 cars had their windows smashed the same way it was done on Wood Street. The Wild Encounter. If you blinked, you might have missed the sight of that terrifying wild mountain lion tearing through the front of a hair salon. It was insane. That I have never seen anything like that before. This happened right in the middle of the day, and you can see the customer quickly close the door to stay out of harm's way. If you missed it the first time, watch out as it turns around and runs in the opposite direction. The animal was also captured in another part of town. Watch as it runs across the road, prancing with careless abandon. Look closely at the frame and you'll see the animal lying placidly among the bushes in front of another establishment. The mountain lion finally walked into a lab before animal control officers sedated and carried the big cat out of the building. The man who watched the mountain lion walk right through his doors to the lab can be seen on screen more enthused than scared, I must say. I went out outside, a gentleman from next door said, oh, there's a lion on the loose. I said, oh, he's just gone through to the lab. Another no good gang. 
The masked individuals wearing baseball caps to aid their masks are said to be a South American crime ring who target high-end homes. On the screen, you can see two faceless men walk through the yard before a third man joins them. I mean, it's really, it makes you feel unsafe in your own house. What you see afterwards are the works of these burglars who gained access to the house through the glass door of the home. Pulled out drawers and cabinets and scattered clothing show the havoc these men wreaked at this home. They're said to have made off with some jewelries and some other items. Towards the end, you see the culprits leaving what may be a different building, and two of them are carrying something really heavy. It appears two more houses in the same neighborhood were broken into as well. Fast and Serious This long and heavy looking party bus has been stolen and tears through the highway in a bid to get away from the cops who chase him quickly through the busy road. Watching the big car tear through the road, you'll think it'd be easy to stop, but it continues on and on, slowing down a few times, but never stopping as it continues to tear through the road. The chase goes on for quite a long time, and the longer it continues, the more the heart palpitates for fear of an accident as the car appears to be going above the speed limit. No one can tell who the driver is, and from all angles, there's no way to tell. The whole chase takes place in the Santa Clarita area with more police cars joining in and trying to warn other motorists of a possible danger with their sirens. The chase came to an end when the driver of the bus uncharacteristically rear-ends another car. It comes to a forced stop and police were quick to apprehend the driver who stepped out of the bus with her hands in the air. The officer carefully searches the party bus while some people check on the driver of the vehicle that received the hit from the bus. A Fountain on Fountain Street First you should know that this is all happening on Fountain Street in Hollywood. First a water main broke which led to a sinkhole forming on the spot where the pipe burst. Soon water began to gush out of the sinkhole like a powerful fountain. It sprays the water all over the area. Besides the huge fountain, homes in the area were flooded and people may need to find somewhere else to stay for a while until everything returns to normal. The pipes are reported to be really old, having existed since 1929. You can see the workers on screen working to restore normalcy. A retail theft ring busted. California's Attorney General announced this himself after the CHP busted eight suspects in connection to the Apple Store theft. Most of these suspects have no fear of arrest or conviction. We plan on changing that dynamic. The next screen shows how thieves grabbing merchandise off the shelves at an Apple Store in Palo Alto and all this happened in broad daylight. They're said to have robbed Apple Stores in 11 counties within a space of six months, carting away goods worth $1 million. The ammo of the retail thieves is simple. They walk into stores during the day with legitimate shoppers in the stores and grab goods off the shelves to resell later to unsuspecting people. You can see the large number of Apple products that they'd stolen and stacked up for sale. Fast and Curious By the time you see it, the car chase has already lasted quite a long time, and if you look closely, you'll find that the car is only running on two tires. Both on the right side are gone. It's just rims grinding on the asphalt. It's a stolen car which the police are trying to recover. Watch as the car goes through two fences before crashing into a patrol car before it continues on its way. The police stay close to the stolen car without rushing to cut him off, keeping just a few steps behind. The police stay on the car for a long time through increase in speed and decrease speed. Watch towards the end as a police car performs a pit maneuver, forcing the car to lose traction. It recovers and the thief is able to accelerate once more, driving now in the opposite direction. The officers perform a total of five pit maneuvers before they surround the car and force the drivers out. What a chase. When a killer roams a neighborhood. A spate of killings have thrown people of Stockton, California into a state of panic with five people shot and killed in a little less than three months. The person of interest in the murder is the person in the image shown on this video in full black attire and a headgear. His face isn't visible, but the police are hoping that someone within the community will have a better image, whether captured on ring cam or security cam. Look at your ring cameras, look at whatever footage you have and please help us out. You can also see the pain of the deaths left behind. The man Jerry speaking of what life is like following his brother's killing. It's gonna take a lot of time for, for closure to happen because uh, you know, he was a big part of the family. Is that another band of burglars? Watch as these three mass thieves walk over to this home all covered in non-conspicuous clothing. The security camera may be the reason they look more gray than black. First the boost of one of the gang members up to the upstairs window and you can clearly hear the sound as it's broken into the house and clatters to the floor. But they couldn't get in through that window. Now they concentrate their efforts on the patio slider which they break as well as seen on the screen. They just kicked out the bottom of the door. They busted it out with something and it, you could just hear the glass just shattering. Watch closely to see what the whirlwind left behind. 
Scattered rooms, drawers, and cabinets. Everything shows the speed with which the thieves tried to find something valuable. It's funny how they went by a MacBook and an Apple Watch without picking these up. But of course the police responded very quickly and forced the intruders to run like hell. Watch as they sprinted off with the police giving chase and capturing the thieves. A deadly home invasion. First the video shows this homeowner locking up and leaving his home with a white plastic bag in his hand. He's ambushed by five men with guns who force him to open his home to them. It appears the victim might know one of his assailants as he mentions the name Rawl as he's being led into his home. One of the assailants attempts to break the security camera at the door but is unsuccessful. Burglars through the parking lot. At the Rolling Heights parking lot, a couple of burglars were on rampage and you can see them with their flashlights breaking car windows and rummaging through for any valuables they can find. One victim says her AirPods, backpack, and some stationaries was taken. And as soon as we got out the restaurant, and I realized that my window was smashed and my backpack was taken. About six cars were broken into at that parking garage, and all of these were captured on the camera of a Tesla parked in the same location. You can see the thieves, each of them with a nose mask covering their faces and a hoodie over their heads. They weren't just breaking cars at random, too. You can see the quick way they flash their lights into the car to see if there's any valuables worth taking from the vehicles. Celebrity Thieves These thieves appear to know that they're being videoed, as you can see them waving at the car parked across the street from which the video was made. You can hear the 911 call, the fear in the voice, and the heavy breathing that accompanied it. Uh, there is a robbery happening, but they have my husband at gun. The call was made by the victim's wife, who was just coming back from work. The criminals, mostly in all black and hoodies with a red-colored face mask, gestulate at the car parked across the street before jumping into their own vehicle and driving off very quickly before the police arrive. Neighbors say the criminals didn't just get away with the car. They also got their hands on electronics and other valuables after holding the homeowner at gunpoint. Before we play the last clip, I'm sure you've been enjoying everything so far, so why don't you consider subscribing to the channel? We post two new scary videos every week, so subscribe and click the notification button so you can stay up to date with the new releases. The Wild Neighborhood The large mountain lion you see on the screen walking towards this California home is walking like it's the king of the neighborhood. You can see how it moves with feline grace towards the front door, forcing the homeowner to call animal control. Well, she texted me and told me so I had to come down and see it for myself. You can see the moment the authorities arrive at the scene fully armed to deal with the dangerous situation. People living in the neighborhood were warned to stay indoors as the situation was handled. The big cat still managed to get into someone's backyard before the authorities hit it with a tranquilizer and carried it off. The neighbors made light of the matter afterwards, but you can be certain they experienced a healthy dose of fear as the feline walked through their neighborhood.